Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I will summarize 1 Kings chapter 13, where an unnamed prophet went to King Jeroboam and prophesied to him, and where that same prophet disobeyed the Lord and was killed by a lion. An unnamed prophet was stirred to go from Judah to Bethel to speak to King Jeroboam. When the prophet saw King Jeroboam burning incense at the altar in Bethel, he grew bold. He said, I speak to you, altar. Thus saith the Lord, there will be a man born from the family line of David. His name will be Josiah. He will sacrifice the priests of the high places who burn incense on you. Human bones will be burned on you, defiling you. And this is the sign that these words are true. You will be cracked down the middle, and ashes that are on you will fall through the crack. When the king heard the prophet, he said, Seize him. But when he pointed at the prophet, the king's hand dried up and withered, and he could not move it anymore. When this happened, there was a piercing crack heard. The altar split in half and the ashes poured down the crack, just like the prophet said. Jeroboam was terrified. He said, please, man of God, please pray to your God so my hand and arm will be healed. So the prophet prayed and the king's arm was restored. The king said, come back to the palace with me. I want to give you food and drink and give you a reward. But the prophet said, if you would give me half of everything that you own, I will not go back. The Lord commanded me not to eat or drink anything or go back the same way I came. So the prophet left. An old prophet lived in Bethel and his sons raced to tell him what just happened. The old prophet said, which way did he go? I must catch him. His sons told him and he pursued the man of God. The old prophet saw him and met him. He said, come back with me to eat and drink. The younger prophet said, I was commanded by God not to eat or drink anything here. The old prophet was sly and said, oh, you must not have gotten the message. An angel appeared to me and told me to find you and to tell you that God now wants you to eat and drink at my house. So the younger man shrugged and went on with the older man. They ate food and drank water. Just then, the older prophet said to the younger, I have a message from the Lord for you. Thus saith the Lord, because you have disobeyed me and have not obeyed my command not to eat or drink, you will die today and you will not be buried where your family is buried. The young man was terrified and he got up to leave. As he was going down the road, a lion jumped out and killed the prophet, but did not do anything to the donkey he was riding on. The old prophet heard what just had happened and he felt bad for lying to the young prophet. He told his sons, let's go get the body of that young man. We will bury him here. When I die, I want to be buried next to that man of God. The thing that he prophesied about will surely come to pass. So that is what happened. As for Jeroboam, he did not turn away from his evil ways. Even after he went through this traumatic experience and seeing these miracles, he continued to make priests of the high places from among all the people, anyone who volunteered. He did not follow God's prescribed method of ordaining priests only from the tribe of Levi. And this was the last straw for King Jeroboam. The Lord decided to wipe his complete family line off of the face of the earth. The most important verses in this chapter are 1 Kings 13 verses 1 and 2, which state, And behold, there came a man of God out of Judah by the word of the Lord unto Bethel. And Jeroboam stood by the altar to burn incense. 
he cried against the altar in the word of the Lord, and said, O altar, altar, thus saith the Lord, Behold, a child shall be born unto the house of David, Josiah by name, and upon thee he shall offer the priests of the high places that burn incense upon thee, and men's bones shall be burnt upon thee. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that Jeroboam heard the prophet speak, but instead of listening, he tried to have the prophet arrested. God wants us to see that the prophet spoke accurate things about the future, and the Lord was truly speaking through him. God also wants us to see that even the man of God who prophesied accurately against the altar at Bethel was killed because of his disobedience. He obeyed when the king directly offered him food and drink, but he was deceived when the old prophet lied to him. God wants us to understand that we should be careful to obey him, even if the whole world tells us to do just the opposite. We should be on guard against deception. You have heard the word of the Lord yourself, if you have ever interacted with the Bible. Are you going to be careful to obey, or are you going to let others influence you to disobey? Are you going to let others deceive you? I want to encourage you to obey until your final breath. Deep down you know that God is there and that He is waiting for you to turn back to Him. Why don't you go ahead and do that right now? There's still time to repent and believe. Why don't you place your faith in Jesus Christ for salvation today? Jesus humbled himself and died on a cross as my substitute and your substitute, and the Father raised Jesus from the dead. Jesus conquered hell and death, and his return is near. God said that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, you would be saved. Why don't you do that right now? And thanks for watching the First Kings chapter 13 episode. If you enjoyed it, please share it with someone. If you want to join me on this long video journey, feel free to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.